What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, your favorite commentator, the number one, you know, YouTube talker in the world. It's your boy, Goblin. And today, I'm coming in with a story time for you guys about dining and dashing. Before I dive into that, I want to ask you guys to drop a like on this video. In honor of me being back from vacation, daily upload grind resumes, you know, just cooling it, enjoying myself. You know, school starts in like five days. I'll probably upload a commentary about that to, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But anyways, drop a like on this video if you enjoy, and let's dive into it. So... Before I even start the story, I want to give a shout out to at BozzyVG on Twitter. He actually gave me a Black Ops 3 beta code. I don't know if he has any more, so if you guys are interested, follow him on Twitter below. Please do show him some love for me. He gave it to me absolutely free of charge, so I am greatly appreciative of that. So follow him in the description below. But anyways, let's dive into it. So basically, I didn't, you know, I, I went to an Olive Garden, okay? That's where I dined and dashed, but I didn't mean to. You know, I didn't go in with the intent of dining and dashing. People people are probably hearing this and going like, Goblin, how the fuck do you accidentally dine and dash? But listen, just hear me out, okay? So, you know, me and my friends, we went to Six Flags. It's like a little amusement park, if you guys don't know what that is. And, you know, it's a, it's a great fun time. You know, we were having a great day. It was just incredible. We were all happy, you know, just having a good day. So we left the park. And we went to Olive Garden. We were all hungry, but we didn't want to spend like $15 for a hot dog. So we all went to Olive Garden. It was me and let me think how many other people. I think five other people. It was like two girls and three guys, I think. But either way, we all went to Olive Garden. And we were cooling it at Olive Garden, you know. And the reason we went to Olive Garden is because being, you know, a broke 16-year-old, the, excuse me, I just had like a hiccup, the best thing on earth if you are hungry as fuck but have limited money is olive garden unlimited soup salad and breadsticks it is dope it is incredible we all fuck with it so heavy so you know we went there we got unlimited soup salad and breadsticks and we dined we fucking dined we had a feast that i feel bad for the waitress because she brought out like six salads like we fucking dined you know, like, every, like, luckily everyone's tab, like, everyone's check was separate, like, you know, no one was paying for everybody because that would just be way too much money, so, you know, God bless that it was only my check and the waitress still got, you know, a decent amount of tip money, you know, because I felt really bad, you know, I didn't mean to do this, but anyways, you know, we were eating our unlimited soup salad and breadsticks, we got done, and, you know, the waiter, the waitress, excuse me, brings the checks out and everything's all good, I'm like, you know, I'm just chilling, I was like, eh, you know, I'll pay it in a few, let's just sit here and talk, you know, because a couple people were still, you know, finishing their soups and salads and breadsticks and all that shit, so, you know, we're sitting there talking and then eventually everyone's like, all right, we're out, let's go back to Six Flags, so, you know, we're all getting ready to pay and I open my wallet. And I'm like, oh, well, that's weird. My debit card isn't in here. And all my money is pretty much all my debit card. You know, I didn't really have much in cash. Like, I had, like, $5 in cash, and my bill was, like, 12 or 13 I think. Plus the tip. I was going to give her, like, a $5 tip just because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm dope. So, you know, I was like, oh, shit, where the fuck is my debit card? So, you know, I'm looking around on the floor. I'm like, guys, help me fucking look. Like, really, help me look. Come on. There's, like, someone's pulling a prank on me. And... I didn't realize that it fell out at Six Flags. Actually, after this day, I actually went to Chase and got a new debit card entirely because I knew that it was just fucking gone. But, you know, I, I didn't really, I didn't put two and two together until about five minutes of searching when my friends started getting up from the table to go back out to their cars and I handed one of them my keys and said, go look in my car for my debit card. Because I really didn't want to do this. Like, I really didn't want to just run out without paying. You know, I feel like that's a douchey thing to do. And I feel like, you know, the waiters and waitresses, like, if I were them, I would be pissed. You know, like, I just serviced you. I just did work. And I'm not even getting paid. And I'm pretty sure that comes out of their paychecks. I don't know. But either way, you know, my friends went and searched my car. Nothing. You know, they came back. They were like, dude, there's nothing in your fucking car. It fell out at Six Flags. And I was like, oh, shit. So I was out. I, I What I did is at this point, like, I, I couldn't stay. Like, I had no money. Like, even if, you know, like, if I had money, I would have stayed, but I had no money. I could not stay. Like, there was nothing I could do. I would get in trouble, so I had to be out. So what I did is, I actually do this a lot. What I did is I pulled out my phone, and whenever I'm in, like, a suspicious situation or, like, I have to get the fuck out of somewhere, I make a fake phone call, and it's always to the same person. I made up this fake person named Randy, who everyone thinks I'm talking to all the fucking time. Everyone thinks me and Randy are, like, the best of friends. And me and Randy are apparently always, like, planning shit out and talking about, like, a double date. You know, like, 
so me and Ray, everyone thinks me and Randy are best friends. And in reality, Randy's not a real person. So I pull out the phone, dial up my boy Randy, and, you know, I'm pretending to talk to him. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I think I'll come over tonight. You know, I have a couple of, uh, a couple of, you know, friends we could bring over. You know, I think we'd have a great time. You know, we'd have a little, little champagne, you know, all that stuff. I talk like a very, like, elegant, sophisticated person. I talk like Randy's, like, in his mid-30s. You know, he's like a very, very elegant man, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm really trying to make myself look incognito. And I'm just speed walking, talking to Randy. And then I get back to my car. And I'm putting my key in the ignition. I look at my rearview mirror. And, like, four waiters burst out of the door. And I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking out. I'm like, no. Because they didn't know, they didn't know what car I had. Like, they just knew who I was. So I was in my car, but I figured, you know, as I was pulling out, they'd know. So what I did is I had my key in the ignition. I put my car in first gear. Or I put my car in reverse first to back out of the spot, of course. And then I put my car in first gear, and I was fucking out. I don't think you guys understand. I don't think I've ever driven so fast in a parking lot. I was going, like, 50. I was out. I didn't want him seeing shit. I didn't want him seeing my car. I didn't even want him seeing the color of my vehicle. So I was out. I fucking drove off, went back to Six Flags. We looked all around for my debit card. It was fucking gone. But either way, it was a great day, but I felt very bad about this. So shout out to the wonderful Olive Garden waitress that I accidentally dined and dashed on. I am so sincerely sorry, but, you know, God bless your soul. But either way, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. And I will, oh, and also don't forget to follow Bozzy VG in the description below for slipping me that BO3 beta code once again. Very appreciative of that. Thank you so much. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.